chilly. It's starting. There's all the concrete that we hope stays dry. It started raining. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> Got a nice little lake starting out there. Also went next door. I can't see because my glasses. Sure is wet out. <laughs> it is. All right. Well, what are we gonna do? Just gonna hang out with Brady. Brady, you should not be on the bed. Why are you so cuddly? You should not be on the bed. You know the rules. Very soaked. Yeah. Do you have an umbrella? It's on the truck. Oh, it's in the truck? <laughs> Bye, boys. There's a lot of you. You yeah, don't have anything, sorry. Sorry. See you later. <gasps> Hi, Buzz! <laughs> Go, Buzz! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so muddy. <laughs> What are you doing, bud? Hi! Hi! Where's Brady? Where's Brady? Where's Brady? Where's Brady? <laughs> Where's Brady? Let's speak. <laughs> speak. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> I don't, I don't know which one that hurt worse. Hey! Get! Oh, so nope, nope. <laughs> Go potty. So yesterday was a a wash. I'm a kind of yeah. Well, it's just. I don't know. I just went to just went to the office. Uh, it was just a rainy day. Mm -hmm. So rained, not all day. It rained for like half the day, I it guess. Was pretty off and much on. on and off all day. Yeah. I was here. If y'all hear something in the background, there's some guy doing. God knows what. I don't know. It was a lawnmower. Yeah, not cutting uh -huh. grass. He's just staying still. So maybe he's trying to fix it or figure it out. Pedals on the right, bro. So uh, we, I went into to work. Um, I guess well, actually I didn't even go into work. I just everywhere is work because I'm sales. So I went into a couple meetings. Well, I did nothing. So uh, because it rained all day. <laughs> so what I wanted to do was just kind of talk, which I meant to do this last night, but again we just fell asleep. So we worked all day, or you know. <laughs> I worked on this. Yeah, she worked. Working hard on this. <laughs> And then I worked all day, and then uh, yeah, as soon as I came home, we actually left to go get food. Just one of those days. Yeah, well, I, we didn't really do anything of interest yesterday, so on those type of vlog days, I like to do uh, little topic talks. And he had mentioned uh, earlier this week getting healthier, I think. He had mentioned something about not feeling your best and getting healthier. Yeah, so. not that I'm not healthy, but I'm not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just not working out, um, which that's the biggest part. Um, also, we track our food food to a point you know like the, the main nutrients like make sure we get protein in carbs other things <laughs> so <Fats>. yeah i know <laughs> getting plenty of fats micronutrients that kind um, of stuff yeah micronutrients being like vitamin a which is difficult potassium which is very difficult you do good yeah. name and vitamins <laughs> yeah uh name any others c yeah. <laughs> d yeah <laughs> <laughs> e 
Is there a Z okay, in there? Anyway. I think there's a Z. <laughs> what I'm gonna start doing specifically, I know she's already doing it and she also has some limitations, I would say. Um, uh, yeah, there's not a limitation. It still it's just, out pretty good. It's just a modify. So yeah, she still works out pretty good. Uh, my issue's time, so I go to work pretty early. I could start running in the mornings, and so I'm gonna start doing that. And start. you have to set an alarm. It's gonna be difficult. <laughs> and so what I'll do is I'll also film it. Even if it just shows like, th this will keep me on track here too. Mm -hmm. So I'll film just a couple, like a little snippet of it. And that's proof that I did it for that day. It's accountability. Right. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it every day. I'm gonna do it probably like three times during the work week and then probably one one to two times over the weekend, depending on how I feel. And uh, keep in mind, still have that uh, that aching knee. So it may not be long runs, but the, Somebody the goal- Somebody asked if you wear a knee brace while you run. I, I do, well, it's not a brace. I need to actually go get a brace. Mm -hmm. um, or they have these wraps that are really cool. They, they're basically like braces because they constrict so well. Uh, and there's multiple points of contact. The one I have right now is just a sleeve. So it just helps with uh, basically getting my leg back in position every time I step. It does help, but I know that there's something better. It's not always, sometimes it's just mental. So I'll hear my, or I'll feel my knee clicking or hear it clicking and then that's it. I'm just like, you know, it's probably getting hurt or this is annoying. <laughs> I don't know, I annoy myself with it. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of work through a lot of that. As long as I'm not feeling intense pain, I'm just gonna keep going. I think it'd be kind of neat for you to, this is just coming from my perspective. I think it'd be neat for you to kind of document that to hopefully encourage others um, to just take little steps too, because I know that what you're struggling with now is time and mm -hmm. making this more of a priority. And so I'm sure that Wait. a lot of these guys uh, struggle with making time because you don't have to start by doing a ton of stuff. And this is my my area, my passion is, is this kind of stuff. And I know I'm, like he mentioned, I'm kind of limited right now with what I can do in terms of nutrition and workouts. I have to kind of keep things where they are until the baby comes. But really what it's about and what I always encourage people to do is just take little steps throughout the week and it doesn't have to be every day. It can be, you know, starting with two times a week or starting with three times a week. And you set that goal and make it a habit for those days and then see after a couple weeks if you want to improve. Squirrel, did you see him just jump? <laughs> he just jumped from one tree to the other. Almost fell. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> yeah, squirrel. <laughs> oh, look, he's right there. Oh, he's hi. looking for Brady. <laughs> yeah, he taunts them. Yeah, speaking of. Okay, so, yeah, that's usually what I recommend. So I think it'd be really cool for you to kind of document that and talk about it and talk about the struggles and how you're making it happen. So the biggest thing is time and space with me. Um, obviously, we live in this thing right we here. We have more space now, though. There's more space, but I'm not going to work out inside. Every time you get on your little ball and bounce, the whole RV moves up and down and it scares I've me. I've done workouts in there before. I'm sure you have. But I'm going to do it outside. So if it rains, I'm going to figure out a way to get to the gym. Uh, if it doesn't rain, then I'll still probably go to the gym because I like to lift. And we've got our, our rings, we've got a little dip station, we've got some weights in there. Yeah, and also there's certain things that I just don't like to do, which are like body weight things on that. I just like to, I just need to find ways to go to the gym, which may be some late nights for me. As long as you're fine with, you can either go with me or you can just hang out here. I don't know, but we'll get it all figured out. I'm looking at your, your thoughts, I'm trying to read your face through the camera. Operation Get Matt Healthy. Er. Healthier. Healthier. I'm not, it's not bad. It's just, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm definitely getting some, I don't know if it's weight, just fat. I'm just definitely putting on fat. Really easy around holidays. And then of course, when your wife is craving all of the crappy foods, yeah, it's really easy to kind of let things slip. I'm not working out as much. I'm not eating as consistently healthy as I normally do. So it's easy for that to kind of like filter over. Either way, um, I want to show my food. I want to show parts of my workouts. I'm not going to bore you with too much of it. And then, of course, fit the vlog around it. Uh, I've seen plenty of other vloggers where they just kind of like show their daily routines and just throw them in there, sprinkle mm -hmm. them in there. And that's all I want to do because you yeah. can get bored of seeing the same thing over and over. Yeah. And if you guys so. have any questions as far as what like workouts look like, um, I will be, of course, whenever I'm cleared to work out after the baby comes, I'm going to be focusing on getting back to just feeling more comfortable. Um, you know, it's it's not the whole like get your body back, but it's like my body's still here, it didn't go anywhere. But <laughs> just focusing on feeling a little bit better um, physically and mentally and performing closer to where I was before I got pregnant, because that's what I love to do. So I'll be documenting some of that. It, I'll probably put more of that on my fitness channel, which is linked below, specifically talking about what I'm eating, workouts and things like that. But we can kind of like sprinkle that in and then we'll talk more about his on this channel. 
So if y'all have any questions, if you guys are on like a health and fitness journey of your own, we would love to follow along with you guys. Yeah. And yeah. Like let us know if you want to see what we're eating, what we're, what our workouts are, how far I'm running. If you're curious about that, I might just might put that in there, but I need a way to track how far I'm running. There's I need a good like fitness apps. app. Yeah. I need a good one. Fenty, the Nike running app. I just have to run it's with my one. phone. That's an annoying thing. I can do it. Or That's Fitbit. Fun. I'm not gonna buy a Fitbit. You can use mine. Anything Is that it? That's it. Uh, well, e oh. <laughs> <laughs> Short bellies one more time. These are about to be gone. This is what, well, yeah? This is going to be gone in like a month. Mm.